Okay, in this tutorial, we're gonna look at the unified camera tool. So basically I have this simple scene set up. I've got a light layer, uh, some text and a red solid, which is basically a stripe and an orange background. So I'm just gonna look through my uh, custom view one here. We have various uh, kind of presets for the camera, the default camera, front, left, top, back, and custom view one, which can be useful for uh, quickly placing objects in a 3D scene. As you can see, the text is uh, at the front. Uh, I've got this red solid in between the background and the text, and I have a light over here. So I'm just gonna go to my active camera, which is the default After Effects camera. So we should add a new camera layer to this scene. So I'm gonna go to layer, new camera. So we basically have two types of camera. We have a one node camera, which is just the camera body only, and we have a two node camera, which is basically the camera body and we have a point of interest. So I'm just gonna choose a preset here, 35 millimeters, and I'm gonna click OK. That creates a camera. I'm just gonna to go to my custom view one, and we can see the camera in the scene there. So I'm just gonna open up the camera uh, transform options. So we have position. So this basically just moves the camera around a point of interest. So this is the point of interest, and this is the camera body. And if we move the position, it basically just kind of rotates around that point of interest. And if we move the point of interest, as you can see, we basically uh, set a new target. One thing to note is if we look through the front view, and uh, I'm just going to reset the transform. So if I just grab this uh, x-axis in the front view, both the camera body and the point of interest move together. So if I just look through the active camera, it's kind of shifted over here. So it's a well-known fact that animating cameras in After Effects is a pain in the ass. So uh, the unified camera tool can help us uh, resolve that and uh, it's probably the best way to animate uh, without using a camera rig. So before I go into the unified camera tool, I just wanna go to my custom view one and I just forgot to mention that uh, you can actually click the, the point of interest, it's quite tricky, but you can actually yeah click the point of interest and move it. Uh, sometimes you accidentally click layers in the background so you might wanna lock them. Okay, so I'm just going to go to my active camera and I'm going to choose the unified camera tool, which is up here. Uh, as you can see, there's orbit camera, track X, Y and track Z. These are basically subsets of the unified camera tool. So the unified camera tool uh, merges all of these functions into one. You can also uh, select the unified camera tool by hitting C. So basically left mouse click is orbit. The point of interest is fixed and we're orbiting around that point of interest. The middle mouse basically moves the point of interest so we can re-target uh, the camera. And then right click is basically zoom. So move the mouse up, down and left, right to zoom in. So I'm just gonna create a quick animation Whoops, the middle mouse is very, uh, it's got a scroll wheel, so it's very sensitive. So I'm just gonna start down here and I'm gonna keyframe point of interest and position. I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna use my middle mouse to retarget the point of interest. And I might even orbit slightly. And then when we get here, I'm just gonna orbit around here. And then I might just move this out a bit more. So you can basically keyframe uh, directly onto the camera and get some kind of decent animation using the unified camera tool. Obviously, ideally in After Effects, you wanna use a camera rig, which is basically the cameras attached to a null, parented to a null, and you basically put the keyframes onto the null object, not directly onto the camera. Uh, lastly, um, if you're basically keyframing point of interest and position, you probably don't want to use the rotation uh, because it's kind of uh, hard to control, as you can see. So you basically want to either use these or uh, these rotation options down here. Uh, if you want to reset the transform, just hit reset here and it adds a keyframe, but uh, we basically reset the view. And if you want to get rid of the keyframes, hit the stopwatch, the blue stopwatch. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you found it useful, please share it and thanks for watching.